Okay, my top 5 2016 starts with our number 5, uh, The Division, from Ubisoft. Uh, why is it on my number 5 list? Uh, it's a great game, came out, uh, played it a lot. Unfortunately, um, a lot of hackers came into the game, who ruined the game, uh, but played it a lot. It's a cool game uh, with the open world fact, the fact that you have to upgrade your uh, station, your HQ. Uh, graphics look really good. Just love the game. Enjoy the trailer. You. So number four on my 2016 list is Uncharted 4. The fourth episode in the Uncharted series. Really good game. Graphics outstanding. Um, love the storyline with Nathan Drake and his brother. Um, great gameplay. Compared it a lot with uh, Tomb Raider a bit uh, of mechanics. Um, shooting me mechanics a uh, little bit um, flat, like automatic uh, shooting uh, mechanics. But still a great game. Um, if you never played it, play it please. Number three. three, Final Fantasy 15. Waited for this a uh, couple of years, played it, and still playing it. Um, great mechanics uh, in fighting. Fighting mechanics uh, are pretty good. Um, Storyline a bit sober. If you didn't watch the movie or read some more on the internet, you don't know which character is who. Um, the Chocobo racing, the Chocobo controls are a bit sober as well. But hey, great game, great Aeons, great fighting, love the game. And buy yourself a season pass. Number two! It is The Witcher, but not The Witcher original game, but Witcher's upgrade. Great game, great mechanics, great storyline, bit dark, um, love the way the game is built. Uh, you can choose not to follow the main storyline, just go side questing and upgrade your armor. Um, I don't love, I don't like uh, Skyrim, but I do love The Witcher. It's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I haven't finished it yet. Number uno of number five, uh, yes, 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 it is uh, the Final Fantasy X and the girly version Final Fantasy X2. So you relive the story of Titus in HD on PS4, played it in one track, it's old school, love it, yes, didn't play X2 because it's for the girls. But yes, it's great game. Don't like Seymour in the game. You see, yes, this is it. Yes, yes uh, especially Blitzball, like the Blitzball part. Yeah, nothing to say about it. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10 for Final Fantasy Shin X2. Remastered. Enjoy the trailer. It's a long trailer. It's the entire trailer. And you can buy it in a uh, normal copy. Uh, It'll go the way I want it. Limited edition. And you can download it from the PlayStation Store. And it has the original music as well as the orchestrated music. Now you see, AGB Mastered by it, cool game, pre-order. It was available in 2015, but still in my top five. So I guess it's my turn to tell you guys something about my top five. Well, I'm uh, 
I'm starting with uh, Final Fantasy 15, but I have an excuse because it normally it wasn't in my top five. But 2016, it's such few good games coming out that I eventually settled for Final Fantasy um, on number five. I liked it. Didn't have the same magic as uh, seven or eight or nine. It was a lot of fan service, if you ask me. But it had a lot of cold, dead environments. But I, yeah, the hunting system kept me going. Eventually, I rushed through. That's why I finished it on like level 42. So I won't be playing it again. Maybe like in 10 years, out of nostalgia on the PlayStation 8. I don't know, but this this is this game's finished for me. And there's a lot of fighting. I don't know how long this trailer is. Okay, so it's done. Okay, number four. You guys are going to be surprised, but I really love FIFA this year. I played it on Gamescom. You are ready. I've played every FIFA there was since like uh, 2009. This one really is the best. Um, we'll the seriously, best. it has a cool story mode, like the journey. Uh, I mean, foot uh, is, is better than ever. I mean, the, the little card game where you have to collect your players and stuff. And the handling is, is, is really realistic. It's really satisfying to play, to dribble, to score. It's, it's the most fun FIFA I've played in uh, in a while, and it has Jose Mourinho! Goro Goro! There we go, FIFA. Liked it. Number three. Yeah, another surprise. I've played it on Gamescom. There was a, a lot of skepticism about Titanfall 2, and it happened to be one of the best fast-paced first-person shooters. We've, we have seen in the last couple of years, so it's just succeeded where Call of Duty failed. I'm going to admit I'm, I'm, I really suck at these games. But it's so much fun in multiplayer to just crawl in a Titan and, and start kicking some butts. Um, to me, this, this is one of the most intense uh, action-packed first-person shooters I've played. With a really, really, really good campaign mode. So it, it has that going for it. I mean... Several battlefields had a, a shitty campaign mode, but it's nice. All right. To me, this could have been number one. I fucking love it. This is the only early access I've been able to push on Fabian, and he loved it as well. I mean, this game is a shit. You can do anything you want. You, you can, you can be a cannibal. You can grow crops. You can make buildings. I mean, you, you can you can make a mountain base, and they keep on adding stuff. This is an early access that is very playable right now, but RimWorld has so much potential, and the developers are listening to the community. They're doing everything they can to make this a good game, and believe me, you have to play it. If you like Prison Architect and stuff, play it, play it. And my number one, my absolute number one from last year. Seriously. If you don't know what's happening here and which game this is, just turn off your YouTube. You're done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> just, this is The Last Guardian. This is amazing. I mean, I loved Shadow of the Colossus. I loved Ico. And again... <coughs> my god. Again, they're, they're delivering a, a work of art. Seriously. The interaction between Ico and Trico is, is amazing. I mean, the puzzles are cool. The story is great, and one of the biggest advantages is this game is not dubbed in English. It has original Japanese voices, and it's subtitled, which captivates the a whole strange, adventurous scene and mysterious scene um, of the boy who gets gets lost. It leaves the story leaves a lot to be inter inter uh, the story leaves a lot to be thought about. <laughs> I, I can't even finish the story uh, yet. I'm still playing it. Really, really, really nice. This is a deserved number one. We had to wait. We, we've had to be. Blah. We have been waiting a long time for this game. Can't even speak anymore. I fucking love it. Yeah. Man. This badass Rico guy. He's eating them crates. And doing shit. Being like a total badass. He's going to fight another tree code. Spoilers! There we go, number one, deserved. 
Okay, so now it's my turn for top five. On number five, somebody's gonna come in last, and it's the latest Final Fantasy 15. Why? Why is it the latest? It's a, it's a well-developed game going through a hell of 10 years, but characters lack customization, the story is just forced in your throat. There's been so much more for a Final Fantasy. Like, Steph, like Yannick said, it is more of a tribute game to the fans and new players to reboost Final Fantasy to hopefully soon we'll get a properly remade Final Fantasy 7 and this was just a tryout. Although they have admitted that they will put on more work in this Final Fantasy 15 this year in 2017. So let's hope they just really make it worth our time because otherwise it's just gonna be a mediocre Final Fantasy. And seriously that is not okay Square Enix, it's not okay. I mean even the battle system can be a bit of a wreck. Yeah. So number four. Nothing but Total War Warhammer. I was so happy when this game came out. Like, finally, a uh, Warhammer based Total War. We've all wanted this, we've all dreamed about it, and it was fucking awesome. The whole storyline, the whole campaign, the whole fighting, the war zones in it, it's just terrific. This game is a must go. But be warned, only vanilla, because the DLC packs and everything they added on it later kind of ruins the storyline, it detaches a bit from Warhammer, and you, you're not gonna like it if you're more into the classic Total War building, because most of the new stuff is all about that roaming skill that they introduced with the wonderful Genghis Khan. On number three, of course, everybody's gonna think now, oh my god, this is, this is, this is Blizzard. It's gotta be Legion. It's not Legion. It's the one and only good Blizzard game come out this year. It's Overwatch. It's a, a man who hates mobile like me. This game is it. It's a shooter, which is kind of like Team Fortress, which introduces a mobile ID to a shooter, but it's a rebooted, it's cool, it's a whole new universe. The idea of it playing together online, fighting, shooting is reintroduced. It's, it's not like Counter-Strike, like I said, it's more like Team Fortress. The Team Fortress servers will be going on forever, but now you've got something new, visual, in the Blizzard universe. And, my god, if you like salt in a game, just go here. Enough salt to last for years. If you kind of like that kind of humor, of course. Now, on number two, it's a game that is gonna grow on me for the next years, I know for sure. It is nothing but Sid Meier's Civilization 6. And for people who like 4X games or building games, this is the shit. His last Space Age adventure just kinda not, not struck the deal. This one does. You go back, it's more like Civilization 5, upgraded graphics, the ID is better, you enjoy the game more because there's implemented IDs of you looking more into the world, traveling more into the world, seeing more in the world, and you get a bigger bond with your civilization this time because there is a really, like, the barbarians, like, in the beginning of the game, gonna, literally, I'm not gonna lie, they're gonna fuck you over if you're not used to this game because, like, barbarians really are raiders now. Also, they have Norway. On number one, the one and only game ever forced on me and that I actually liked. It's an early access game. It's a game that Yannick introduced to me and I was like very skeptical and hating him of it. Of course, RimWorld. The shit of all shits. This game is still in early access and this game is still updating everything and this game is still very much playable and it's got so much in it. Basically, you're just colonizing a whole new world because your ship just went to, to hell and Really, everything happens in this world. You think like, okay, you're gonna build this like prison architect, you just build some things and people... No, you can build a prison in there to capture people raiding you, and you can decide to eat the people that died, or the raiders that died. And if you start making alcohol, people can get addicted to your alcohol and your drugs. And if you think that's, oh my god, that's so deep, if you ever get wounded during a raid, you can lose your fucking limbs, or you need to cut them off. This game goes so deep and so far for an early access game. It's amazing. You have to really think about it, because the game really, really punishes you. This takes you back to retro gaming. There's never been gaming like this since the last few years. That if you do something wrong, that the game punishes you. Game over. It's done. You're fucked up. It's, it's amazing that people people are doing this again and I fucking love it for it and it's like I said I'm addicted to this game it just keeps on forcing you and every time you restart a game it's a whole new adventure and a whole new storyline because every person in your colony colony even if it's birth or people that join in later are having their own developments like they can actually get traumatized by war like you can see here they can get or they can just enjoy the action and start killing everything you really need to develop everything. If you think like, I'm gonna just build some crops and enjoy it, no. There are people who want your stuff, who will go for your stuff. There are disasters in the world. 
in the world of RimWorld. Just get this game now. I love you. Okay, so that's our that's our things. Um, comment and subscribe and become a Kamaratsky. Yeah, and pick up one of our streams. Yeah, pick up one of our streams. Yeah, Show us on our streams. Streams on Twitch. Yeah, Twitch dot TV dot TV slash, slash reality. Yeah, join our community yeah. on PlayStation. Steam. Um, Steam. Steam. You know, just pop in on our Twitch, and then we talk more about the Twitch and we talk more about. Alright, so until next time, where we go back to our regular reviews. Yeah, I'm gonna see